Plunder has returned. Everyone's favorite pirate-themed virtual money booth is back in Warzone 2. So grab exactly three of your closest friends and drop into the map alongside a hundred or so other players with nothing but your grit, wit, and perfectly tuned loadout that you spent the last six months perfecting in that other mode no one wants to play anymore. The objective is simple. Just follow the American dream. Make as much money as fast as possible. But how do you earn money? Well, you can get a job completing contracts or clearing strongholds for whatever sadistic billionaires just handing money out to whoever puts a bounty on their own head. Or you can start panhandling on the street, finding money on the ground or in magic boxes. You can tell these ones have better things inside because they're colorful. Or you can steal high value items like GPUs and sell them at your local pawn shop. Or there's the old tried and true method of killing people and taking their money. Make sure to bring all that hard-earned cash to the little piggy bank icon on your map and deposit it into the big bank in the sky to make sure that when you get yourself killed, the money doesn't die with you. Or if you're really rolling in dough, you can buy your own personal deposit balloon to fling your rent checks straight up to God yourself. You know what they say, you gotta spend money to save money. If you're unlucky enough to get hit with a sudden asset liquidation, don't worry, Plunder has unlimited lives. That's plenty of time to come back from a nasty case of bankruptcy. Upon respawn, you'll magically appear in the sky with two options. Dive bomb your enemy and take back your lost dinero, or go one town over to start over fresh, like my father did when I was six. As the game progresses, keep an eye out for special events, like Blood Money, which is a really cool name for what's basically just the double points. Or Restock, which I think you can guess what it does. I mean, do I really have to spell everything out for you? Protect your investment, i.e. yourself, by taking out a life insurance policy at a buy station, which lets you keep more of your assets upon death. And you can even apply for a credit card to get 10% cash back on all purchases. The first team to reach $2 million will trigger overtime, where everything is worth double, and whoever has the most cash by the end of the timer wins the game. Kinda seems like the first 20 minutes really don't matter too much then, huh? Dude, there is so much bullshit in here. How many people died? Holy crap.